Welcome in the house of Sparky.com. I'm Zach Pocklin. With me, junior running back Demario Richard. Uh, Demario, last season, and, I mean, even your freshman year, big impact on the <laughs> offense. And now this year, you and Kalen Balazs, two of the veterans on this team at the skill positions, with Chip Lindsey. I mean, what are your feelings? Uh, what can we expect from the offense and from you guys this season? A lot of explosive plays and uh, a lot of big plays coming out of me and Kalen. What's that relationship between you two? I mean, you guys are so dynamic. Um, and even if difference in stature, you just have equally big impacts uh, when you guys are both flowing on the game. It's going to be hard for defenses to stop us both on the field. I know it's a lot of people who said um, they'll see us on the field the past two years together, but now you're actually getting to see it. So, I mean, uh, it's going to be exciting, you know. You're going to be able to see one of the best duels in the country do it. So, um, it's going to be exciting. I like it. I like it. I mean, you're going to have four new starters on the offensive line, new starting quarterback. I can see you smiling. What are you, what are you thinking? What are you thinking? They still have to come here and play us. They still have to come here to play us. You still got to come here and commentate the game. You can have four new linemen, five new linemen. It don't matter. We, they've been here for years. It's not like they're freshmen. Only freshman we have is Cole Cabral, and he's, he's a monster. Like I told somebody else, whatever Coach Thompson is doing in that lineman room, keep doing it because it's like he's breeding monsters in there. So it's like we've ran behind every offensive lineman that's on the O-line now, so we know what they're capable of. So at the end of the day, you still got to come to Tempe. You still got to play in 115 degree weather. You still got to come here and play in front of 65,000 people sold out. You still got to come here and play against us. So I mean, like, it don't really matter to me. I mean, it's clear that your confidence levels are high. You must put in a lot of work in the offseason. I saw that video you squatted, what was that, 500 pounds? Yeah. Three times? <laughs> Three times? Four. Four times. I don't want to shortchange you. <laughs> I mean, how are you feeling physically? How are you a different running back than you were last year or your freshman year? Uh, I got a lot stronger physically and mentally. You know, one, once you get the game down, mentally it comes to you easy. So um, just got a lot stronger physically and mentally and um, just, just started to take care of my body more because longevity is crazy. Of course, of course. Now, last season uh, when he was at Southern Miss, Chip Lindsey had 2,000-yard rushes. I'm sorry, it's not the first time you've heard that. And that's very convenient. You and Kalen are right there. <laughs> you know, when you, when you first saw that he was hired, you know, how was, what was your reaction? Uh, I just came in and... <laughs> I just came in and met with him the next day and see what type of guy he was, you know, because uh, I didn't want anybody just to come in and, and somebody we couldn't get along with, you know. So, so I came in and met with him. I met with him for about an hour and 30. Yeah. I, was probably, I probably had the longest meeting, with, longest meeting with him. Met with him for about like an hour and 30. He's a uh, man of faith. got four beautiful children, beautiful wife. Um, he's a great guy. Real quiet, you know, not really, not really a yeller, but we'll get on you, we'll get after it if you feel like you're not giving enough effort. So uh, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with the hire. I'm very happy with the hire. I mean, it sounds like you're taking quite a strong leadership role, um, not only just when you guys were playing on the field, but vocally I saw, you know, when he was getting hired, when you guys were going through the coaching, you know, uh, cycle, you reaching out on Twitter to people and, and being pretty vocal just in general. I mean, I got to. I mean, it's like I'm 19, I'm a junior. I've been here for three years. I played for three years. Only people, only person who's done that really is me and Kalen on the offensive side of the ball. Like nobody else has really done it. So I mean, um, of course, Kalen doesn't have a Twitter, so it's my job to reach out to the freshmen, Chase Lucas, Nikhil Harry, Robbie Robinson. You know, mm -hmm. almost our whole staff left. So I mean, um, I mean, I felt like I, I wasn't, I was obligated to do it. You know, so I mean. That's what I had to do and make sure, you know, the young guys are straight, make sure our commitments are still good, solid. You know, everybody, and obviously everybody around here is happy with the hire and uh, we're going on the big things. Yeah, yeah. All right, real quick question. I mean, you know, freshman year, sophomore year, you had a few nicknames, you know, the face of Cali is your Twitter handle, baby beast mode. Do you want to set the record straight? You got one that you particularly like? Nah, man. Uh, nah, I just got another one called California King on Twitter the other day. So nah, man, just anything, but Lord Richard, you know, anything, you know, uh, my Twitter name, the face of Cali, my Instagram name, CBA Rich, which stands for, everybody's been asking me this, here you go, CBA stands for Cold Black Athletics, Cold, C-O-D-E, Black Athletics, that's what it stands for for everybody who's been asking me, but I mean, I don't really care, you know, it's whatever, anything but Lord Richard. I mean, you heard the man. Don't call him Little Richard. Call him Face of Cali. Call him Baby Beast Mode. Whatever you do, make sure you pay attention to Mario Richard this season. I'm Zach Pocker with HouseSparky.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks.